What is Linux Mint? Linux Mint is an operating system for desktop and laptop computers. It is designed to work out of the box and comes fully equipped with the apps most people need. Work in 3D with Blender, draw or edit pictures in GIMP, use Inkscape for vector graphics. With LibreOffice Complete Office Suite, use the word processor, make presentations, drawings, spreadsheets or even databases. Easily import from or export to PDF or Microsoft Office documents. Enjoy your music, watch TV and movies, listen to podcasts, Spotify and online radio. Access more than 7,800 games with Steam. Install the Heroic Games Launcher or Lutris to get even more. Browse the web, watch YouTube and Netflix with Firefox. Turn any website into a desktop app for immediate access. Linux Mint is one of the most popular desktop Linux distributions and used by millions of people. It is one of the best alternatives to Microsoft Windows and Apple Mac OS. The purpose of Linux Mint is to produce a modern, elegant and comfortable operating system which is both powerful and easy to use. Some of the reasons for the success of Linux Mint are It works out of the box, with full multimedia support and is extremely easy to use. It's both free of cost and open source. It's community-driven. Users are encouraged to send feedback to the project so that their ideas can be used to improve Linux Mint. Based on Debian and Ubuntu, it provides about 30,000 packages and one of the best software managers. It's safe and reliable, thanks to conservative software updates, a unique update manager, and its robust Linux architecture. Linux Mint requires very little maintenance, no regressions, no antivirus, no anti-spyware, etc. Everything just works out of the box, without the need to configure anything or to install extra applications. It's ready to go. Although it's very configurable, everything is set and tuned nicely by default and no unnecessary questions are asked. It's very easy to use. It features an intuitive desktop and adopts KISS principles. Anyone can rapidly feel at home and use Linux Mint. User experience, workflow and comfort is key. It's your computer, your rules. This is a key principle at Linux Mint. We don't collect data, we don't work against you. You're the boss. Your operating system is designed to do what you want without getting in your way. Now we will see how to install this Linux Mint 22 operating system on our system. In this case, we will try to show you step by step from the very beginning. You will be able to see each part clearly here, how we will download this operating system and get a complete understanding from our video on how to install it on your virtual system or live system. Here, we first showed you that we will go straight to the operating system's homepage, and from there, we will download the necessary installation media. I am showing you how we are downloading it and trying to provide a clear screen recording to show you which media we are downloading. When downloading, you will find many mirrors available. In that case, use the download link mirror of your choice to download. I have already downloaded it earlier because downloading it again would take quite a bit of time. To save time, I downloaded the image file in advance. So, let's start the installation process using the ISO file we have downloaded. Here, as you can see, I have started in the same way as before, using my virtual system. In this case, I am using a Proxmox virtual system. Now, I will show you how to create a virtual machine here. I have shown how to create this in several videos before. If you carefully watch how to create this virtual system, you will be able to create a virtual system using Proxmox. If you want to install it on a live machine, you don't need this part, and you can skip it. So far, you can see that our virtual machine has been created, and we have attached the downloaded ISO file to this virtual machine. Now, we will boot the ISO file through this virtual machine. Up until now, you have seen that we have successfully booted into our virtual machine. At the very top on the left side, you can see an icon that looks like a CD. We need to double-click on that icon now. A dialog box will open like this, and you need to pay attention. If you follow the options exactly as I do during your setup, you will easily get through the initial steps of the installation. 
So, let's get started. Here, you will first be asked to select a language, where options for the keyboard and your location will appear. If you want to install multimedia codecs, then click on the checkbox here and continue. For the installation type, I prefer Erase Disk and install Linux Mint to install on the full disk. If you are an advanced user, you can customize it or choose the something else option. However, in my case, I am selecting the first option. In the next option that you see, click on Continue. Then, you'll see an option to select your location, and there you will select your location and click Next. The next option is very important. You will need to enter your computer's name, your own name, and then select a password. Make sure to choose a strong password so that no one else can access your computer. If you want to log in automatically without entering a password each time you start your computer, do not click on the Login Automatically option here. After reaching this point, the first step of your installation is complete. You will now need to wait for a specific amount of time for the files to be copied, as the time required depends on your computer's configuration. Please wait patiently until the copying is completed, and do not turn off the computer. After reaching this point, you can be assured that the operating system has been installed very nicely on your computer. After booting, you will be able to use your newly installed operating system smoothly. If you like our channel and our videos, please be sure to hit the subscribe button.